Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi hello my name is Loie and first and foremost my makeup looks a little bit wonky. I just feel like a workout clothing try on haul hence why I'm wearing this. Um, I actually had to go to the gym before I could come and film tonight so I had to retouch some things and I feel like my concealer is a little little intense um but i'm really hoping you guys can kind of like brush it aside for the time being because today we are going to be talking about the sun vanish i have been so busy recently uploading my collabs with Haley and andrew and really focusing on getting like countless hours of footage edited well myself and christian um we really had to tag team it and get those videos together before i could even think about filming anything new but i've seen all of your countless requests for the sun vanish and to be perfectly honest with you i stopped following it i completely stopped reading everything because i kind of wanted it to be like Dear David, where I sort of catch up with you guys in the video, you know what I mean? Side note, you guys, oh my god, Adam Ellis tweeted me, or he didn't tweet me, he like DM'd me a screenshot of himself watching mine and Haley's video, I sent this to her. He wrote, let's have a sleepover in his DM, and I wrote back, I'm crying, please love me, and then he didn't DM me back because I just ruin everything. I thought that was really funny, um, and I'm really hoping to meet him soon. But anyways, so right now we're obviously focusing on the sun vanish. I just thought any of you who enjoy these viral scary stories would enjoy that little tidbit. There is a lot to catch up on on the sun vanished. Um, the account owner has also disappeared for a little bit over 11 days now, so I'm hoping this doesn't mean we're gonna start getting fewer updates because I am so invested in this story, and I am just as excited as you guys to see where this is going. Where we left off was the blue light was still underneath the door and that was kind of where our last updates ended. Then on May 30th, 2018, the blue light finally disappeared and that thing flew off and left. Then there was a pull. Should I leave the bathroom now or stay put for a little longer? 54% said leave, 46% said stick. The next day he said, I left the bathroom. I'm trying my best to stay calm as I type this, but I think there is a dead body in the middle of the street. And then later on, there's no way I'm taking a picture of a dead body. This is just too gruesome. I'm just going to try to avoid it. A few days later, to take my mind off of what is outside, I dug deeper into the piles of books and papers scattered around the house. And I found something intriguing. Along with this is this letter. I regret my decision to stay. It has gotten incredibly lonely and I have come to terms with the fact that I may never see Martha or my grandkids again. I pray to God that they, at the very least, are safer than I am. I have no real caution or regard for my own life anymore. I can only hope that what I gather from my near suicidal experiments can be useful to someone else at a later date. This is dark. Whew. I either die and be at peace or I get more information. Both outcomes sound favorable. So clearly the person who wrote this is in a very bad place. Then the next um, couple of screenshots are experiment notes. I placed several flashlights around the perimeter of the house, testing them at different intensities, the control being no light at all. I believe the entities are more attracted to the flashlights than myself. Then there's a little arrow to this just asking why. I got back inside before my permanent damage was done, or before any permanent damage was done, sorry. More notes here. Blue lights appeared after day six in the dark. There's a little arrow asking significance. Light sources do not seem to attract their, something scratched out, presence. Unlike the entities producing white slash red flashing lights, the blue lights are higher in elevation and also seem to come from a different entity altogether. I believe the blue lights may also be more likely to more in unison. I don't understand. More likely to more in unison. However, there is no way to know for certain until they return, if they return at all. Something is a little different about the handwriting here. Experiment notes. It finally happened. I was being reckless and I looked into the light. The red light. I feel empty inside. The sun is back. The sun is back. What does it mean the sun is back? Later on, the sun vanished tweets, yes, the sun is still gone. I have no clue what this journal is talking about. Seems like the same talking nonsense Tucker was talking about with his friend Flynn. Then, on June 3rd, 2018, Tucker tweets, I am alive. The Sun Vanished posts some DMs with Tucker. Tucker says, sorry I was gone for so long. Power went out where I was, so I've relocated. Trying to slowly work my way towards the west coast, so my reception is a bit spotty. I saw the picture you took with the thing in the sky. If you ever can see one of those again, get as low as you can. And if you see the blue light, do not let it shine on you. The Sun Vanished says, I'm so glad to hear from you. Are you okay? Daniel texted me saying to stay low too. 
Tucker says, yeah, I'm doing okay considering what I've been through. Why should I not let the blue light shine on me? What happened that makes you say that? Well, when I got out, I saw someone running away, and when the blue light shined on them, they, uh, well, suffice to say, it wasn't pretty. A few days later, the sun vanished tweets again. The body is just gone. Didn't see what happened to it, but it's not in the street anymore. The water from this house is dark now. Thankfully, I filled up my bottles with clean water, but I won't be able to stay here much longer after I run out. Then he shows that he texted Danyan. Danyan, I'm sorry for what I did. Please respond. 20 hours later, still no response. Thankfully, there's been no activity to take note of. I am worried about Tucker though. Then, guys, someone is at the window. It's too dark to make out anything. I just hear frantic knocking. It could be Danyan or it couldn't be. I guess there's only one way to find out. Then there's a video of the knocking. They're still there at the window. I don't know what to do. The person is still standing at the window, but they aren't making any noise anymore. Oh God, never mind. They're banging on the window now. I think with their head. They are in the house now. They are looking for me. The next tweet is from under the door where you can see a pair of feet on the outside. And I mean, they look pretty human to me, but it is eerie nonetheless. Been hiding for 20 hours. I think they're gone. I need to check the house first. Where should I check first? 60% said upstairs, 40% said downstairs. Can I please make a note here that 15,625 people voted in that. So many people are so, so into this story. I'm heading upstairs. The person has definitely been up here along with a photo of a bloody smeared handprint. They are still there upstairs. Just snapped this before getting out of there along with this photo and it, it looks like someone just standing there in the dark and it's, oh God, that photo gives me chills. Staying low staying safe. She seems to be in a trance. She was trying to track me down before, but now even if I am right in front of her, she doesn't react. I don't think she's a threat anymore. I locked her in the room where she's standing. Then the next day, holy cow, I woke up to find the door busted open. Oh God, she's here. And then this video. The next tweet, after the car horn, I heard a gunshot. Then, Danyan finally texts him back. I found your Twitter. Is that you honking outside? And the gunshot? Yep. So we have the same problem as we had before. Can I trust you? At your 11th birthday party, I gave you a Batman Lego set. Is that good enough? Grab your stuff. Let's go. In the video, Danyan seems to have a gun in his lap. And that was the final tweet from at the sun vanished as of June 19th, 2018. Tucker had made a few tweets um, after coming back. Tucker did tweet on June 3rd that he was alive, 
then on June 5th said just past the Virginia state line hoping my family will be okay they said they haven't seen anything out of the ordinary on June 6th I took a chance and decided to drive through Indianapolis that was a mistake crawling with headlights on June 11th been hiding out waiting for the roads to clear slowly making progress so since then neither account has been active and this is where we leave off and i'm hoping to god that the story doesn't start stalling now because my goodness it is just now picking up total side note not to break out of the immersion of this but like the creator of this story like really knows how to draw you in and there is so much happening here and i mean there have to be so many people that are helping him with this because you know he's doing it he obviously just got into a car with someone in it he had to have people in hazmat suits like this is a crazy 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 story like to the point where if you told me that this was like a hoax for a movie i would literally believe it but right now here's where i'm at number one and i've said this before why will Daniel, why wouldn't Daniel just answer his questions before? Why wouldn't he just be like, yeah, so here's the answer to like, I don't remember what he asked him, but he'd asked him this personal question because Daniel had done that to him. Daniel had made him answer a question to make sure he was still him. So why was he incapable of doing that until now? Like, if he had too much pride for it, that doesn't make any sense because it's just as simple as like giving an answer, especially when life or death is like, in the works something doesn't seem right about him to be perfectly honest with you that's kind of where i'm at with Danyan. um in terms of the sun vanished i'm glad that he is in a car and hopefully driving away but now we haven't heard from him in days so it makes me wonder did something happen i hope this isn't where we leave off i hope that we're going to get more updates soon but my god this update was absolutely absolutely petrifying and i am so so excited to see where the story goes from here. If you all enjoyed, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys very much. Let me know what you think of the story down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.